But we're seeing more people choosing to self-quarantine right before the presidential primary, which of course is this Tuesday. That's right, and there are procedures in place for the polls to be sanitized, but what should you do if you want to vote but think you need to self-quarantine? Renata DiGregorio is on your side. She brought this question to election officials. I just talked with the supervisor of elections, Mike Hogan, and he says if you think you need to self-quarantine, you can designate someone to come here and pick up a mail ballot for you. Now, once you have that ballot, you either got to mail it or bring it back here, but either way, it has to be here in their hands by 7 o'clock on Election Day. And inside here, we're told poll workers are disinfecting equipment every hour, and there is plenty of hand sanitizer. Polling locations have also been moved out of assisted living facilities. So this goes for you. Look out if you vote at the Windsor at San Pablo, Elmcroft of Timberland Park or Augustine Landing. And if you want to avoid crowds, I talked to a man who came here to vote at about 1030 this morning and he said it took all of two minutes because he was the only one in there. Just don't forget you'd have to hurry because early voting ends on Sunday. I was the only one in. I was uh, tickled to death to drive right up and get a parking place right in front of the front door. They had um, the uh, hand sanitizer and the pump on the counter and everything in there, but nothing else unusual. On another topic, we've also seen people asking about the census. Should it be postponed while the whole country deals with the coronavirus? Well, the invitations for the census just started going out yesterday, and it's the first year that you can do it online. So the Census Bureau is really encouraging people to fill it out that way. Reporting downtown, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side.